today. AMD released a new GPU, their new lineup of cards, get specs, AMD's Ryzen 7000 APUs will completely change everything, and NVIDIA's RTX 4090 is incoming. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up for today, AMD quietly released a new GPU, or at least new to the DIY market. I'm of course talking about the RX 6400, a low-end GPU that was originally released to the OEM market a little while back. And if you're interested, I will have an affiliate link down in the description. It won't cost you anything more, and it helps the channel out. Either way, let's go over specs. First up, the GPU comes with 768 cores, 16 megabytes of Infinity Cache, 12 ray accelerators, so it does have ray tracing support, but obviously don't expect much out of this. The card also comes with 4 gigabytes of GDDR6, and it comes with a game clock of 2039 megahertz. What's pretty interesting about this is that because it only requires 53 watts, the GPU can run off the 75 watt PCI Express slot, meaning it doesn't require an external power supply. As for performance, there are only a couple reviews, but it looks to be fairly centered between the GTX 1650 and RX 6500 XT. When it comes to price, the card has an MSRP of $159, so it's not too bad given where the market is, especially since as of the writing of this video, you can actually get them at that price. Now, if you love tech as much as I do, you've got to check out this video's sponsor, Brilliant. And I know I talk about them a lot, but they're seriously the best. If you don't know, Brilliant's essentially the ultimate learning platform for anyone interested in the STEM field, which includes computer science. And one of the reasons I really love talking about Brilliant is because they aren't just another platform where random people sign up to teach something. Brilliant has real, curated courses made by people from Microsoft, Google, MIT, and more. Like their machine learning course was literally made by a developer of BMW's autonomous drive algorithms. What's even better is that the courses are actually fun and interactive, so it's easy to learn. And as the icing on the cake, you can try it for free right now if you visit brilliant.org slash gamermeld. Plus, the first 200 of you who visit that link get 20% off the annual premium today. Next up for today, we finally have the first big leaks on AMD's upcoming new lineup of RX 50 series of GPUs. First up is a report from Video Cards, who managed to get the specs for PowerColor's upcoming RX 6650 XT. Starting things off, the GPU comes with the same amount of cores and memory, but it gets higher clocks in both silent and overclock mode. It then comes with faster memory, but it also has a higher suggested PSU. From this, we can expect something similar to the other GPUs in the lineup, so they won't be a huge jump in performance, but obviously anything helps. Especially given Hassan from WCCF Tech claims that the 6650, 6750, and 6950 XT GPUs are set to replace their non-50 counterparts. Now, this obviously isn't too surprising, but it could mean that the new cards are set to cost the same as current gen, similar to what Nvidia did with their 2000 Super cards, so any kind of performance jump would be great news. And given GPU prices are still falling, these could actually come in at MSRP. Fingers crossed. Next up, a massive leak on AMD's next-gen APUs just dropped, and it could completely change the GPU market. The story originally comes from a recent video by Red Gaming Tech, where he discusses what his sources have told him about AMD's upcoming Phoenix. Remember that Phoenix is set to be the codename for AMD's next-gen APUs after Rembrandt, which is what makes up their current Ryzen 6000 APUs, so we're talking their Ryzen 7000 APUs. Either way, according to his sources, the integrated GPU is set to be based on RDNA 2. One source did mention RDNA 3, but he seems pretty confident that it is in fact RDNA 2. And of course, that's no different from the Ryzen 6000 series. Where things really change is in the GPU core count. According to his source, AMD could go as high as 24 CUs, which would be double the core count of AMD's current 6000 APUs. Remember that AMD's Ryzen 6000 APUs have the first iGPUs that can really game. I'm talking 60 FPS in modern games. So double that would completely destroy the low-end GPU market. It would bring a 
whole new meaning to entry-level PCs once the desktop parts release. And even if it's on the lower end of what's rumored here, which is 16 CUs, that's literally how many are in the 6500 XT. So at the very least, it would void that GPU. Now, you may be wondering about the leaks claiming that next-gen CPUs come with an iGPU, but remember that rumors point to it only having a few CUs. So they're really just made for those who want a powerful CPU but don't have a need for a discrete GPU. Just something to display everyday graphics. At the end of the day, Ryzen 7000 APUs are set to shake up the market like never before. And lastly for today, we have some huge new information on NVIDIA's next-gen GPUs, codenamed Ada Lovelace. Starting things off, if you've been following the channel, you know that I recently began calling NVIDIA's next-gen cars the RTX 5000 series. And the reason was because the very trustworthy leaker, copite 7 Kimmy, recently put asterisks in front of the variants like 90, 80, etc. Well, Video Cards noticed this and asked about it a little while back, and copite 7 Kimmy recently responded and confirmed Confirm that it actually is in fact the RTX 4000 series. And that's probably because, according to another tweet, he confirmed that NVIDIA's 8102 has begun the testing phase. For those who don't know, the 8102 GPU would make up cards like the 4090, 4080, etc. Either way, the testing phase means the GPU should be finalized. And this is likely what gave Copite 7 Kimmy confirmation on the naming scheme. Not only that, but he also claims that the RTX 4090 will come with 24 gigabit per second VRAM, meaning NVIDIA is likely set to use Micron's newest GDDR6X at 24 gigabits per second, which is something I recently covered the possibility of. And all of this comes together to reveal the release, which leaker Graymon55 recently discussed in a tweet. According to him, the next generation of new products look to be coming in September. And given NVIDIA released their RTX 3000 cards back in September of 2020, that makes perfect sense. So while that does it for today, are you punk for next-gen GPUs, or what about AMD's upcoming Ryzen 7000 APUs? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day!